Everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, also HarbachElectronics.com, 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So, TGIF, finally Friday. But we have another Ameritron AL811 to work on. It's getting a brand new set of Pentalab 572s. The only way I'll work on one is if you upgrade to the tubes or direct drop and replacement. So... I'll go over everything it needs. I'm going to change the SO239s. The top one does not have great grip, so it's just not something to take the risk with. You know, it's just they're they're so cheap and not hard to change. At least not hard for me. So uh, and I take care of that. And I'm going to put gas discharge tubes down at the socket. So I'm going to add it one right there. I'll remove that one and add two and do everything else it needs okay so i'll be back when it's all done see you guys soon stay tuned i changed the two so239 connectors all right, the old the old ones right here so i always take the shaft out so i don't damage the input rotary switch because i loosen some of the screws up in the back allows me to pry the board forward a little bit so i can pull them out so i always tighten screws really well and I snug them up with a wrench I can't tell you how many times I've seen them where they're just either finger tight or just barely tightened with a screwdriver like snugged up so someone did the modification here the two resistors you're supposed to have one not two just a single 200 ohm one they started adding that because they were having problems with 811s from China they would arc internally and people would hear it you know, they have like a slight arc and people would hear it in the receiver of their transceiver. So I never put in 811s. I always put in 572s, so they're not needed. They also uh, require, make it so the transceiver has to put out more power to to drive the amplifier to full output because they, they pad the input a little bit. Well, the resistor ends up uh, dissipating some of that drive power into heat. So... I'm going to pull them out and I'll see if I can retweak the input, each input circuit, so I get them down flat again. Uh, I can see someone, the person who put these gas discharge tubes in must have thought that the tube sockets were in series, I'm guessing, because they, they put the other gas discharge tube over there. And they're not the right ones. They're rated for 120 volts instead of 150. So both will come out. I'll fix the solder work over there, fix the solder work over here. And I always put them over here, right here, across one uh, socket, the filament of one socket, because all three tubes are in parallel. The filaments are in parallel. So I am going to solder these connections and start undoing all this, and I'll uh, see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Hey, customer wanted a video of it working on 40 meters, so I'm going to do it here in the YouTube video. I do this now and then. So, I always take a video of it working on one band of the customer's choice. I always test it 160, 80, 40, 20, 15, and 10. Okay, so, you see it's on 40 meters. Plant load controller set. It's tuned for max output of 600 watts, PEP. One KW slug, it's on PEP. Going into a bird attenuator dummy load. Audio hello, audio hello, 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 600 on the button, actually hair over 600. Audio hello, hello, hello. 68 watts of drive, I had to reinstall one of those 200 ohm resistors. I'll explain that when I'm done. Audio tit 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 tit. Audio hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 and it was working as it should, okay. Take the cover off and show you the inside. I'll be back soon. Tit, 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 tit. So I'll show you the inside real quick. So the screw holding in the plate choke uh, wouldn't come out. They must have put epoxy or something on it, so I'm going to leave it alone. So reconnected one of those 200 ohm resistors. I put thermal paste behind it. It did not have any. Fixed the solder joints on the sockets, compressed the clips, added the gas discharge tubes right there, removed the other ones which were not correct. Changed the SO239s. 
Tighten up on other hardware. Got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Zip tied the wiring. Adjusted the input circuits. First I tried adjusting them without the resistors in. It just depends on when they were added. Uh, so must have had one in here originally. And for some reason the guy added another one. I don't know why he would have done that. Unless it was a... I don't think it was done at Ameritron. Uh, so, you know, those gas discharge tubes were definitely not stock. Someone did that. So, trying to figure out what someone else did and why is like part of the job. And I sometimes I can figure it out. Sometimes I can't. You know, a lot of times I can't. It's just why people do things, certain things, it just it's beyond me. So... Anyway, I tried to adjust them. I couldn't get them down well enough. Uh, some bands I could, some bands, bands I couldn't. So I reinstalled it. Now uh, all the input uh, SWR values are within spec. Uh, so it just requires a little bit more drive to get full output. So, but if your amp doesn't have that resistor and you're using 572s you don't need to add it and if you do add it you know you might be able to tune it out or you might not be able to so I just I don't like I've said before I don't use 811s I don't recommend 811s just put 572s in there direct drop and replacement uh, much better tube so, so uh, tighten the the hardware for the air variable capacitors to hold those in. The plate side was loose. The two uh, 832 screws, the cap nut underneath for each uh, connection point. And uh, that's about it. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Or you could just send it in. I have all the information on how to have it packed and shipped on my website. You need to follow that you know information so it arrives in one piece with no damage most likely so if uh, you don't meet those guidelines that are listed on the site then feel free to give me a call and we'll go over everything but uh, try to keep things moving I only have two hands I'm a one person operation over here so but it is Friday so I'm gonna post this video and uh, get some house stuff done. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And hope everyone has a, a really good weekend. 73.